Hello everybody, this is the Mayor of Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Broken Age. So, we're going to switch back to the boy. Because, why not? Okay, so, we're going to use the vents to go through without getting spotted. So, so Ah, the young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh, man. A real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, see. You know, for some reason this kind of reminds me of Loom. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Oh, okay. So I gotta go get a star chart. Better not go out there while the ship's in high alert mode. Where are we? Same place as always. The center of the universe. Really? Wherever the young master is, that is the center of our universe. Oh. That's a lot of pressure. Wait. I got a... This is the star chart for town. Yeah, Network. okay. Here we go. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? With pleasure. Oh, that's cool. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Looks Spin like the space weaver has encoded the star chart into a graph of nits and points. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. Whoa, cool. This looks like the place. There we go. Hey, Wolfie. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Huh. Go on, lower the shield. Good. There we go. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. There. I got it. Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean... Our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cop. Now we mm. must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. There we go. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if I 100% trust this guy. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cub. Like, I wonder if 
we're really saving these creatures, you know? Especially because he didn't want me to go see him, but, uh, hey. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? With pleasure. Make it so. <laughs> okay, so you just gotta talk to him. He does it on that. That's easy enough. Okay, so let's see okay, what we have to we do. We should now. be in Danger System Five. Are we ever? Take a look at this. realized I said, yeah, it's kind of like a video game when that is definitely what I am playing right now is a video game. Don't wait forever, though. Hmm. Got it. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. Yeah. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. It's just one. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Hmm. Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the control. Yeah. Wait How are we a going second. To perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... <laughs> Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, my goodness. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, so brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Now... The way that the arm went down and one of them struggled kind of reminds me of, uh, the girl. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't trust Merrick that, well, that much. Why are they sad? Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. Okay. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. Okay. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. 
this fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. Okay. Um... The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. So, how long have you been living in That's here? That's a good question. I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Yeah, there's... yeah. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. Hmm. Yeah, I do not like him. Bad feelings. Anyway. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. There we go. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. The bat system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Oh, okay. But I suggest somewhere safe, like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or me. Somewhere in the smile system? Um... I like puppies. Alright. Let's try Puppy Planetoid. Preparing decryption mechanism. Make it so! <laughs> okay. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Let's see, can I go through here? Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. Tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age, a young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please, I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, we got uh, this fellow up here. Yes, my love. Oh. Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war, and that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you uh, like that? Never mind. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our hull Laguna was dying. So we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Hmm. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Yeah, let's get some more backstory on this. The universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun in the smile system instead? Fair enough. Is there anybody else on this ship? 
It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could make you some new friends. Uh, so you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. Um, no. So what does Dad do yeah. during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hulls, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, funny. Okay, so let's see. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so clicking on that just causes things to giggle. I thought I just saw his uh, father. Emergency rations only. Hey, there's a knife. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. Okay, so now we got a knife. These are just props. She would never let me do my own cooking. Too dangerous. It's kind of lame. Cooking's fun. Emergency rations? I think that's overreacting. Not going back in there if I can help it. Not going back in there if I can help it. <laughs> okay. Um. Why am I wasting time in this kitchen when I could be out in space? You know, I got an idea. Because I have what the star chart looks like. You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. Hey, Dad. Now, I have the star, this is the chart. star chart for Prima Doom. So maybe I have to line up things. You know, use the. Um, uh, how should I put it? Like, cut out the squares and then put it back on the quilt in that formation? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Take a look at it. Is this my bedroom? Yeah. What's in here? Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Okay, so can't go in there. And there were two more do doors over there. Let's uh, take a look at those. Go in here first. Hmm. Three doors and they're all asleep. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's like saying, don't screw up, don't screw up, don't hey, screw up. My, my head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics, duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Right, we'll see what we got here. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. Oh, these are the things that he was awarded for. Uh... Hey, the helmet comes yeah. off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope she washed that thing. How did I manage to win second place that time? I never want to see another train as long as I live. I gave up making art years ago. And if no one's around to wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old teeth? Hair? Ugh. I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remains of my old bomb squad bot? I wish she'd get rid of these. My paper mache is so much better than that now. 
Okay, so let's... Huh. Let's go there. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. What's this? The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Wait a second, my head is smaller. I bet this has to do with some puzzles, so let's uh, see if we can't exploit that. Okay. Let's try that uh, one thing. Um maybe the smile system would be there. Okay, smile system. Prepare decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Knife. Intake no way. Cutting the nav scarf could send us right into a black hole. I don't see how that would make this helmet bigger. Or my head smaller, for that matter. Oh, hey. How tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Okay, so that didn't work out so well. Hey, what are you trying to do? Uh, teleport? You already went through me, but you didn't teleport back through me. So? So, your head is still messed up. You can't go through again, or it will get worse. That's you have thought. to teleport back through me the other way, so your head goes back to normal size. So many rules on this ship. Your head is more important than you realize, Shay. <laughs> okay, well, let's go through this. Teleporter, thing. activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Hang on! Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters on our return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. Now, can I put on this helmet? Man, how tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Caution! Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, that's not good. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. I'm okay. not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. So Oiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. That makes sense, then. So I need to make my head even smaller. Is there another way out? No? Okay. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Okay. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Oh. Thanks for traveling okay. with us. It's a little bit bigger, so let's go through Teleporter. here. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Here we go! <laughs> Thanks for traveling with us. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Huh. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and then lock it forever. Oh, hey, these, uh, yeah. Okay, so this must be the airlock. Warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extra vehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. Ugh. Okay, so I have to find a way back to the, uh, area. Uh, maybe through here? 
Oh yeah, because wasn't there the uh Oh no. Don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. Your passengers are still in Green Council. <laughs> Please leave before they see. Hmm. Can't I ride the train again? Banned for Ah, okay, well, I think that's good enough for right now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be back soon with some more Let's Play Broken Age. Thanks for watching.